My name is Awinda Gu. As an artist, I merge the scholarly tradition and the Western contemporary art. I train in the classical landscape tradition and calligraphy. I was a student. When Mother Wells' work came to China, it widened the perspective of what ink and what rice paper can do. It's a kind of spontaneous expression. I'm not sure how much influences he got from the Asian culture. When he created these pieces, he must have some imagination, different than when he created the big canvas. It's kind of bleeding. You have to control the, the color tone, the water volume. It's all about the control. Otherwise, it would be a totally mess. It's not a totally abstract like his oil painting. I feel there's some realistic gesture in it. Sky, landscape, his simplicity is beautiful. He's not sophisticated in the scholarly painting techniques. He uses his own creativity applied to something raw and new. It's more playful. It's kind of life. It continues to evolve another shape, another experiment. So there's a kind of life. The good scholarly painting is all about the ink and the speed and your inner motion control. In China, Buddhism has two kind of chapters. One school is by accident. The other school is accumulation. You, you need a daily practice. I think that's a kind of contradiction and the impact is the Asian material, but the Western idea. Any different culture cannot be precisely translated into other culture. It's not possible. Misunderstanding is the creation. Two things can merge, become something else. <laughs>